Come on, settle in stream. Hello everybody, how are we doing? I know the stream is lagging, I'm working on it, there's nothing I can do about it. We're just along for the ride here, so I apologize. I don't know why my computer is just locked right up right now. So, um, yeah, we'll just keep going here and hopefully it'll settle down before restart. Um, just give it a moment, it's having a, a bad hair day, I guess. <laughs> mm. Come on, settle down, you got this. Come on, Streamy. 
let's grow how's it going adrian good luck all get well soon doug absolutely again i apologize just give the stream a minute ladies and gentlemen it will settle in here we need to update our computer This one's just working too hard. Like I can't even, yeah. I don't even know if I'm on the right screen right now to be honest, so I hope you all can hear me. <laughs> it just never ends. We're trying to do what we can to get it to settle down here. All right, let's get to the race now. Um, you see, all right, five minute warning coming from race control, so I gotta get my job going here. Welcome everybody again. I do apologize for the lagging stream. It will settle in. It looks like it's starting to now, so. We are here on behalf of the Gran Turismo Racing Community. It is round six of our Group 2 Racing Championship here this season. It's group round six of nine, so we're getting very close here to the end of our championship season. And we have 13 drivers on grid here today, it looks like. So we are going to see a one-hour endurance race here with these Group 2 racing cars. It's going to be racing hard and racing medium tires required. Now, this is a track that rain does have potential. So, uh, there is a tire mandate cancellation when it comes down to rain, but that is... Um, there's, there's a lot to go through on that. Basically, it needs to hurt a, it's hit a sentence out of moisture. That has to remain for a certain part of the race. So... Uh, the drivers need to be prepared to potentially use up to three or four different compounds of tires today, essentially, is what that's going to work out to. We have three times fuel and three times tire here as well in the series. So every time we go for a lap around Suzuka here today in these Group 2 cars, we are going to see them use three laps worth of tires and three laps worth of fuel so it's definitely going to require a pit stop either way i think for fuel for these cars and uh, of course the tire mandate that's going to make sure there's at least one pit stop now oh, i don't know what the weather is going to do here is i believe we're working on dynamic weather is again this season here as well so uh, it very well could rain here at suzuka it's it's uh it's it's got great potential for rain that's for sure All right, so there it is, that beautiful little loopy, sneaky racetrack here. This is a very technical racetrack, but it's also designed to be a high-speed technical racetrack. So the drivers are really only into about two hard braking zones around this whole racing circuit here. Uh, other than that, you do, these cars won't really drop a little third gear unless they're just trying to get a little bit of extra rotation in a corner with these cars. You'll see a second gear drop, but for the most part, these cars aren't going to be any lower than third gear once we get the race underway. Turn one and two in the snake at the beginning of the race is going to be a very big trouble area for these racers on cold racing tires. They're going to be very tight together at a very high rate of speed. And then, of course, getting through the remainder middle section of Suzuka here will uh, make it a little more interesting on those cold racing tires we may have drivers on different compounds of tires as well so there's lots of different factors that could play into the race start here today and i think the stream is starting to settle down here a little bit now hey appreciate you ruben i am doing well thank you very much for asking i hope you and yours are very well as well my friend appreciate you for viewing in and uh we're gonna get on track here in about 30 seconds time so
All right, a quick look at the standings here before we get qualifying underway. It is 10-10 Sim Racing Subi Mark in the lead with 87 points. We have Team Rad's Petrol Heads right in second place with 70 points. We've got Mike 1972 in third with 67 points. We've got Hair Razor in fourth with 66 points. And then we've got Bar 27 in fifth place with 57 points. We've got Doug Burrow in sixth with 55 points. We've got Dial Hole Racing in seventh with 27 points. We've got Supra in eighth with Sorry, 37 points. 36 points for Super Patrol. Kobe is in ninth with 35 points. And running our top 10 is Type R there with 28 points. Other notable mentions is Pappy and Pigums there in 11th and 12th. We got Egon, uh, Iron Stingray, Roses, TDC Gaming, Kennedy, and Tap. Round and out the second field of standings here so some of these drivers are uh not able to get in for a full season too which is why some of these drivers are low in the standings as well so we have lots of reserves and full-time drivers here today and it looks like i think we're going to see a lobby reset here and then we'll be rocking and rolling so you can see the drivers are just checking in with race control there on the screen and hopefully the stream has sorted itself out now it is still struggling a little bit What's going on chad how you doing brother appreciate you stopping in got some group two racing here all right it looks like quali has started here now so let's get out on track let's get you guys and gals at home some great information let's get all that juicy stuff up on the screen for everybody the timing screen of course all that acceleration and throttle inputs what tires these drivers are on so again racing hards and racing mediums are the only tires allowed to be used here in the series so we're going to see the drivers qualifying on the racing medium tire here today and as we head through the degners here with hair razor one and two uh heading up into the hairpin here now on suzuka so it's about the midway point of the racetrack here now this is just an outlap so we're just seeing the drivers get heat into the racing tires. They're going to semi send it in this first lap. They're just going to try and build up air pressure in those racing tires. And we got a big old group of cluster coming through here, uh, through the hairpin there in behind hair razors. So uh, those guys are going to have to space themselves out here a little bit as we head up in towards Spoon Curve. And then, of course, 135R from there. So you see hair razor here. He's got nothing to worry about, but only what he's doing behind the wheel of his NSX here right now. So we got. One, two, I think we have three different group uh, make cars of group twos here on track. We got the Honda NSXs, we got the GTRs, and we do have an Audi uh, 4, and we've got some Lexus on track here as well. The Mercedes CLK is banned, uh, McLaren F1 is banned. Those types of cars are banned just because they're too different compared to the newer technology cars. We tried to keep it so it was uh, the cars all drove fairly similarly, anyways. So as we're coming through here, let's start qualifying. All right, so it is hair razor. We're just gonna flip to second place for a second uh, just to get rid of that timing issue. And we're gonna sit on board here with hair razor as we head into turns one and two, leading into the snake here. And this is going to be a trouble spot here at race start. <laughs> I got you, my dude. <laughs> Heading up in through the S's here, and then that take I can't remember what this corner is called. I have to take a look at the map. I forget what this corner is called. But we're heading through the S's here right now, or the snake, I think, as they call it. And then we come up over through the sweeping, long hairpin corner uphill. A little bit of a blind corner, too. And then that leads us into Degner 1, eating a little bit of curb here, leading into Degner 2. And you got to be careful how much curb you eat in Degner 2 because it really unsettles the race car. Hair Razor optics to just take a nice clean line through there, leading into the hairpin here on the brakes just after basically the exit leading into the hairpin. And nice tight apex there from Hair Razor. He looks like he's on a good lap here. We got Type R just in behind there in second, and I think throwing Kobe third out on track here. So as soon as Hair Razor comes across the line, we'll try and get through the field in order as they cross. It all depends on how our live timing is working today. All right, looks like the stream is finally starting to settle down a little bit here, so that's wonderful. 
All right, so Hair Razor is heading up into 135R here right now, and it's kind of funny that it's called 135R because what that actually relates to in Gran Turismo 7 terms is the radius of the corner. So it's actually a 135 degree corner. Um, is what that means, but we call it 135R. And as we head into the Casio Triangle here, this three series of uh, chicane into leading into this last sweeping corner to the start finish line it's going to be hair razor to cross first is 152519 so let's see what type r has here as he comes through out of the casio triangle next it's also in a honda nsx here it's going to be good enough for second place there for the time being we've got trone here in third next around the track we'll see what trone does here egon moves up in a second he stays in fourth so the timing is a little out here we got petrolhead moving up into third place there bar moving up into second Let's see what Subi Mark does. Subi Mark takes pole position away here on this first lap. We got Dial Full Racing coming through. He's going to be good enough for seventh there. We got Happy Pappy, and I think that's Tap in behind there. Pappy's going to go in seventh, and where did Tap end up there? Uh, I'm not sure. All right, we got uh, the damn cat here, TVC Gaming in 11th, and he's in the old school technology here. He's in that 2008 uh, Nissan Epson. Yeah, our Honda Epson NSX, and he's going to take seventh place there. We got Mike 1972 coming through here for his first lap, and the driver's going to get three times around the track here today in qualifying. It's going to be good enough for 11th here right now, and then we've got Super here in the only Audi in the field here, and it's going to be good enough there for 10th place so far. So it is Subi Mark here in the lead. Tap ended up in fifth place there. Where is Hair Razor at? All right, he's up in second. All right, so Hair Razor here is seven tenths of a second currently behind Subi Mark's pole time at 151.8. We got Bar 27 there in third, Petrohead in fourth, and Tap in fifth. We got Egon in sixth, TDC in seventh, and Type R in eighth to round up top half our field here so far in qualifying. So we're going to try and get these guys as they come through in sequence. We'll do the best we can, anyways. And Hair Razor coming around here for the second time out of the Casio Triangle. Let's see what he's got. He's going to take that short line, try to minimize the time. It wasn't an improvement there. So we got Bar. Uh, looks like Petrol and Subi there. Uh, or Type R and Petrol there. Sorry, in front. No, it is Subi Mark. Right, we're going to stick with Bar here. We'll jump to Subi. And then I think it's Petrol in behind him there. So Bar is going to stay in third. Subi's going to. Uh, keep his time there. We'll call him Mark. Now we got Petrohead not improving there. So uh, some interesting strategies happening here. And there we go. So those drivers are going to pull out of turn one here. And that is our qualifying. So it was three laps, including the out lap. I misunderstood that earlier with race control. So that was my apologies to all the folks viewing at home. And the drivers are just going to pull out at the uh, edge of turn one here. And they're just going to sit and wait as everybody is kind of done qualifying here. Uh, TDC coming through. It's going to be ninth place here for him. Pappy is already through. We got Super still flying. Let's see what he's got on his last lap here. He comes around a little bit laggy from this driver here. Good enough for seventh place there. That was a good run. And we got Mike1972 coming through here as well. So let's see if he's got uh, something in the bag here on this final flying lap. And he looked like he backed off a little bit here after that. Uh, first attempt there and, and just kind of set himself up for ooh, what was hopefully going to be a really good lap there and a little bit of a mistake coming out of Spoon Curve and I think that's going to be uh, the end of any attempt at improving his lap time there as well. It's all good Doug, you just worry about yourself my guy, we're thinking of you. Let's get a hashtag Doug up in the chats ladies and gentlemen, one of our competitors here today, he's not feeling so well today, unable to make the race. Let's send him to love, Winter Circle, let's send, the, let's send the vibes to Doug, let's get a hashtag Doug up in the chats here, let him know that we're thinking of him. Let's do what this community does, support each other in the best way we can with vibes, all about the good vibes ladies and gentlemen, always. Two minute warning coming from race control here, so some donuts a little show here for everybody at home while these guys get ready to race and that is a beautiful thing about our sim racing world these guys can bang into each other here right now have some fun it's not going to hurt the cars for race time the cars just come back like nothing ever happened so uh damage model is on light in the series i believe and uh that means it goes away after 30 seconds of gaining that damage so whatever damage it is you will be stuck with it for 30 seconds but it will go away um yeah, 
rain. Rain is that unknown factor here today, so we're going to have to keep our eyes on the skies as this race progresses here today. It is, again, a one-hour endurance race, so there's plenty of time for a weather system to sneak on in here on these racers and give them a little bit of a wrench in the program today, so we'll see what happens. Pidgey, uh, Pigums stepped out of the series, I believe. Having some internet issues, had a disconnect, it took him out of the fight, so he just stepped away and left an open spot for somebody else to come in and compete. And he's just monitoring it as an admin for the remainder of the season. The Pickens is a competitor, so he uh, he knew that that was going to hurt his chance, and he wanted to win a championship. So he he was struggling with the group two cars a little bit too as well. He wasn't feeling very comfortable in them, so uh, you know just decided to uh, allow another member of the community to get in and come have some fun with the group, basically. All right, looks like the drivers are just checking in here. We should have a, a grid lineup for everybody here in just a moment's time. I'm gonna attempt fate now with the screen, which I probably shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's see if I can get my Facebook dashboard up because I really need to monitor it because that's the best way to manage everything that's happening on the streams. It tells me what's going on. The streams lagging, what's going on with the stream, is it an audio lag, is it a video lag? It tells me a lot of different things, so. The stream's gonna lag for a second while I do this. Got it under control here. Got first time star sender up in Facebook. We got 99 star bomb coming in from Madeline's. Appreciate that 99 star bomb. Let's get a hashtag mad up in the chat, everybody, for that support there on Facebook. Absolutely legendary. Appreciate you. Thank you for that support. Oh, we are racing. Kick them tires. Light them fires, ladies and gentlemen. We are racing, and we are green, green, green. And it is Supi Mark from pole position to lead us off here today. So our pole sitter and championship leader going to lead us into turns one and two. And things could get a little interesting here. This is a very, very difficult sector of the racetrack very early on in the race. And a little mistake there made by the pole sitter. Let's see how everybody got through here. It looks like we got a nice clean race start again here from our group two competitors. I gotta tell you what, these guys and gals have done a beautiful racing job here this season when it comes to race starts here at the GTRC. So GG's to our racers and let's go. We are racing. So Tupi Mark in the lead. We got Team Rats Petrohead in second chasing. We got Bar 27 in third. We got Hair Razor in fourth. Tap in fifth. We got Egon in sixth. Type R in seventh. Diaphol in eighth. And he's under pressure from Mike. And Mike gets the job done. His Diaphol gets it a little bit wrong. And Degner one there has to ride that curb. He's going to give up that position. But he does stay ahead of Troll and Kobe there in tenth place. So a little bit of a spicy moment there for Diaphol. But he kept it together. We got TDC here in eleventh place. We got Happy Pappy in twelfth. Mega Super here in 13. So uh, TDC Gaming will be live on Facebook and YouTube, I believe, with his point of view here as well, ladies and gentlemen. We always try to shout out the streamers that are streaming, so you can always take a different look at the race if you want. So if you head over to Facebook Gaming or YouTube and just search at TDC Gaming, uh, you'll be able to find him there from his point of view if you want to check it out from what he's looking at as well. So it's Petrolhead here in second place. we got Hair Razor in third, Bar in fourth. We had a little uh, jostle going on there. Bar's going to lose two positions here. His tap's going to get around with as well. Bar's going to tuck back in in fifth place. And now Type R closes in here as well in sixth. got Mike 1972 up in seventh place. And boy, he is making up some time on the racetrack. He forces his way up to that inside line. He's going to get the move on Bar 27. And he is very, very quickly moving up through the field here we got egon in eighth place we got dival racing in ninth we got throwing in 10th place we got happy pappy here in 11th we got supra in 12th place and we got tdc here in 13th and ooh, maybe a little issue coming from that driver there as he seems to be moving quite slow coming into the castle triangle there so it is tt super mark here in the early race leading us 1.5 second gap over team rats petrol head here this is nsx versus a gtr situation here as well on the track right now with our first and second place drivers we've got hair razor here in third place top in fourth and mike 1972 this guy's not messing around today he 
is trying to get up into the front of this field and he is not taking any prisoners i mean he is tucked in right now on tap tap is aware that he is there and tap is doing a pretty good job of being semi-defensive so dagner one and two a little bit wide there from tap that's going to compromise him he gets back on that defensive line there mike 1972 has no choice but just to sit tight and wait for an opening here to try and get the position on tap you see bar 27 and type r closing in the background egon right there as well a little bit of contact under breaking there kind of accordions up the pack but everybody survives that quite well these drivers are on it today ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a fantastic race like 1972 here in fifth place we are really trying to key in on this battle here because he has moved up from uh 10th or 11th place all the way up into this front pack of drivers and he is there he goes he took a look he did not have the run he just checks up a little bit there on tap and he's going to sit in behind tap here so uh, maybe he's working together with Tap here a little bit. You can see Hair Razor's just up ahead of him there in four, or third place, pardon me. So uh, this is a four-way battle right now for third place here from these drivers. Type R is trying to make this a five-way battle, but he's just a little bit off the group here at the moment as we head into the Casio Triangle. We're going to see these drivers cluster up a little bit. Bar on the outside of Mike 1972. He's trying to get the position back. Ooh, a little bit of a touch there. Uh, checks up to get the position back. Type R gets into the back of Bar, and now this is becoming an eight-way battle here for potentially third place so let's get juicy it's getting juicy here in the mid pack let's get through there uh what's going on back here we got type r and egon battling it out here for position so egon uh trying to get around type r here after that little bit of exchange there throwing kobe on the inside coming through turns one and two here as well he's in ninth place he's trying to hold off the charge of that pack in behind him here uh happy pappy and supra right there trying to get the business done here oh boy this is some great racing right here it is all the way from front to back at the moment we don't even know where to look all right let's go see what's happening up front here subi mark in the lead two seconds petrol head here kind of much of the same thing six second gap here over the field right now hair razor in third place we got taps still right there with mike 1972 and mike 1972 he's got his opening a big mistake in a dagner one there by tap he's still trying to get out of that car up he's going to lose two positions in that exchange there and now he's under fire from egon and type r in behind bar is going to get the job done move up into fifth place that was a great catch right there by tap as uh, he loses two spots and it's race on egon with the over under right there and again a little mistake made there by tap maybe some dirty tires are not allowed egon to get a charge but great run there from tap he's going to defend the position egon's going to take a look here what is going to happen there you see type r is in the fight here as well this is some great battling right now in the mid pack let's go boys all right it's tap here in sixth place egon's going to take a look underneath here coming in through spurn kuva and he checks up a little bit here too he had the position there he definitely didn't need to check up but i think he felt that was a better call and he's going to tuck back in but that compromised his exit a little bit now type r sitting here in eighth place is going to try and get a run here are we going to see the move into 35r no type r just decides to, to, to get a little bit clean air so we can get his turn in and just play nice here through 135r passes can be done there but it is extremely difficult and both drivers need to be super aware that that is happening before entering that corner because it is tough to hold an outside line going through 135r you can see how tight this mid pack is right now some great fighting here we're we're just checking on the front here uh, not a lot happening in our top two drivers at the moment here. They're kind of trying to pace the field out at the moment. We've got Hair Razor in third place, and Mike 1972 now up into fourth place is tracking, and he's not messing around. We got Bar 27 there going a little bit wide here as we enter into the mid part of the snake. He S is here and uh, loses a little bit of traction there on those two, but currently right now, two way battle here for third place, and Bar 27 trying to make it a three way battle here. Mike 1972 is just tucked right up in underneath Hair Razor here at this moment in the race, and I guess it's just a matter of time of when is Mike going to set it up and he's going to do it through Degner 1 here no it did look like he was maybe thinking about going side by side heading into the Degners here but he thought better of it maybe he was just trying to see if he was going to get a reaction right there out of Hair Razor but uh, this is a great battle right now here from this Group 2 Series drivers. Mike 1972, is he going to get it done in the hairpin? No, Hair Razor is going to defend that. Bar 27 is now going to close up. This has now become a three-way battle for that third-place position here. we got a three, four, five, six-way battle essentially for uh, sixth place and back there in behind these guys as well. So we got some great fighting happening here on the racetrack right now. But we are going to cue in on this podium battle here for the moment. It's Mike 1972 is, again, being patient here. I think he's just waiting for an opportunity 
opportunity to get his nose inside and just get a good run here. But now Bar 27 is applying pressure in behind here as well. Fifth place and three-way battle on. And there we go. I think we're going to see this happen in the spoon curve. So the first attempt of a move here coming up in the, sorry, 35R. And side by side with Bar 27 here. And Bar 27 just checks up a little bit there. And everybody makes it through safe and sound there. Ooh, a little bit of contact there between Mike and Hair Razor. And oh boy, Mike under a track edge there. He's going to get all out of sorts there. And oh boy. And look at how many spots he's potentially going to lose. The whole pack is coming down on him here. He just entered out in front of these guys. He's going to have some dirty tires. Type R up the inside here now. As we head up the front straight, heading to turn number one and two, it is a battle here between Type R and Mike1972. And that was an untimely mistake right there from Mike1972. We are going to go take a look at that again in a moment here. And he goes in super deep into turn one and two to hold off that charge from Type R. And this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight way battle as we head into the S's here for fifth place and a little bit of jostling happening in the back part of this battle here as well as one guy was uh, I think that was tap was all kinds of out of sorts there and uh, great job by the drivers in behind not to get collected up in that and everybody stays in formation here so let's go take a look at what happened to Mike 1972 here uh, as we come around into uh, 35R here Is it going to show us what happened here? No, it is not. All right. I waited too long. My apologies. But it is Mike1972 here in fifth place now. So he's got a little bit of work to do to track back up through uh, the field. Yeah, Dougie's not feeling well today, uh, Nolander. He's, he's opted to sit out here today due to due to health, health reasons. So uh, we're all thinking of him. We're definitely thinking of him. We got Subi Mark here in the race lead. We got Petrolhead here in second. We got Bar 27 now up in third and has opened a gap up here on the pack. So he has gotten away from that battle. Hair Razor here, same thing. Fourth place, he's on his own now trying to track back down onto Bar 27. Mike 1972 here trying to break away from that absolutely huge pack that he's got chasing him down here after that mistake on the braking a lap ago. And it was just right here. I think he just caught the track edge there under braking and he went for a ride. Type R here in 6th place. We got Super in 7th and Egon right there battling it out here. And ooh, squeezed out just a little bit there as uh, I think Super tried to get under the power there and, and wiggle that car. And Egon's just going to have to settle in behind. And unfortunately, there he's going to... Oh, Super's going to pick up a half second track limit penalty. So that's actually good for Egon there as he can close back up and try to get that position back uh, once we come out of Spoon Curve there heading up in towards 135R. Tron Kobe up into 8th position here. He's got Tap chasing in ninth place. And the race starting to settle down just a little bit here. We've got Happy Pappy here in the 10th position. TDC Gaming back up into 11th place. We've got Diaphil Racing here in 12th. And we got Hair Razor who's made a pit stop now in 13th position. So, ooh. All right. We've got a moment to breathe here. That's wonderful. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? How's everybody enjoying this crazy race so far? What a doozy we got going on here. I tell you what. Uh, Subi Mark here in the race lead and he's got six seconds to the good over second place driver Team Rat's petrol head here right now. This is exactly as these guys stand in the championship point standings as well. There's a 17 point difference between Subi Mark and petrol head currently on the championship standings. Right now, Petrohead needs to finish ahead of Supimark in order to, of course, get a, paint, a points gain. Supimark also has that fastest lap currently in pocket at the moment, which is a potential bonus point at the end of this race, and he also has pocketed that pole position point. So uh, Supimark doing what Supimark has been doing all season long, trying to assert uh, dominance over this Group 2 championship. We've got Mike1972 here in 4th position. We've got Type R here in 5th. We've got Supra in 6th. We've got Egon in 7th. We've got Tron in 8th place here. Oh, we got a battle happening up front. Let's go check it out there. I'm not sure what happened there. I think Supra, right, Supra had that half-second track limit penalty, which allowed Egon to skirt just ahead, hitting into 35, 135R. And as we head into the Casio Triangle here, Egon does, of course, uh, take sixth place away from super here for the time being but i'm sure that this battle is far from over this audio is good under exit and you can see there he's going to get a run on that uh, lexus of egon there and they're going to be side by side egon's going to squeeze him tight heading in to turns one and two and egon just goes in deeper on the brakes and we've seen that a couple of times here today the driver on the outside line getting the job done just going into the corner deeper and egon's going to take that position and defend that position here as we head into the s so you can see mike 1972 and type r 
are closing in here in fifth and fourth place just up ahead as well. Uh, got lots of little groups starting to happen here now on the racetrack and they're not separated by each other by very much. A couple of seconds so anything can happen. One mistake and all of a sudden one group catches the other group and then it's a, a large pack battle again. So it's Tap here currently leading this little pack here in eighth place with Trone Kobe and Happy Pappy in ninth and tenth place here. So we've got three different cars in this little group as well. We've got TDC Gaming here in 11th place, two and a half seconds in behind those guys. He's kind of in no man's land right now. No pressure in behind, which is great, so we can focus on that charge up to the guys in front. We've got Diaphol Racing here in 12th place, and we've got Hair Razor in 13th position here, rounding out the field again after a pit stop here. So it is Subi Mark in the early race lead, and we still have 47 minutes remaining. That was only 13 minutes of this race, ladies and gentlemen, so settle in. We're in for a doozy again this week here from the GTRC Racing Community. This, this Group 2 series has been an absolute fantastic series all season long. It has produced some fantastic racing from this group. And uh, subs and full-time drivers alike seem like they're really, really having a lot of fun with these Group 2 cars this season. That's for sure. They have put on some epic, epic races. And the Suzuka is proven to be another one of those races here this, uh, this weekend. So Type R in fourth place. You see Mike coming into pit lane here. He's making a schedule pit stop there We've got Egon now that's going to move him up into fifth place with Supra in sixth and behind chasing Egon has done a good job to open that gap up over the Audi there uh, Tap is also in Alexis here as well trying to close in on Supra and the gap is just under two seconds currently Trone Kobe is 1.2 seconds in behind Tap in eighth place and there is the, the classic Cleveland Browns livery for everybody they were looking for the other night there on uh, the stream he, you know he's going to break that out. Come on. we got Happy Pappy here in ninth place. Happy Pappy has showed really, really good pace in these Group 2 cars all season long. We've got TDC Gaming here in 10th position as well. So he is doing a good job of slowly climbing back up through the field here. We've got Diaphol Racing in 11th. We've got Hair Razor in 12th. And we've got Mike1972 now after his pit stop in 13th position. So that tells you how close the field is. A, a short tire of fuel splash of fuel stop for these drivers. And it's going to put you in the back of the pack right now. So this is some great racing here from the field right now 13 cars started we still got 13 on track as well appreciate you Derek We've got Subi Mark in the lead. Nothing happening really up front here. These guys kind of seem to have control of the race. Bar 27, much of the same here. Uh, he's got 10 seconds to the good over Type R in fourth place. Uh, Egon is about 1.1 seconds in behind Type R right now. And he has Supra in sixth place. Just about a second in behind him here. Three quarters of a second, as a matter of fact. So uh, almost a three-way battle here for fourth place between these drivers right now as they try to close in on each other. We've got Tap here just off in the distance. He's three seconds in behind Super here, so we lost a little bit of time uh, from that group uh, last time we're through here. Let's, let's sit on this pack here right now. Looks like Pappy, Trone, and TDC Gaming here are very, very close together. And this is kind of the closest thing we have to a potential battle right now on the racing track. So let's sit with this here. And you can see Trone thought about maybe getting a look underneath uh, Happy Pappy there. But Happy Pappy defending that line through the Casio Triangle there. And he's going to get a little nudge there from Trone. And that's actually going to help him get a good exit coming out of the Casio Triangle heading up the back uh, front straight here, I guess. And that leads us into turns one and two here again. So uh, very, very fast, fast turn one and two here. Woohoo! So you can see these guys flirting with the track limits there, and they're all very lucky that that didn't go out there. And great, great uh, driving right now from these three drivers here. You can see Tap is just up ahead there as well, two and a half seconds. They do play nice. There is good potential that this group could turn this into a four-way battle for seventh place here. It was a little bit of a mistake made there by Pappy, and that almost allowed Trone to get inside of him there through the S's as well. But Trone deciding just to stay in line and try not to uh, obviously cost each other time, but engage that battle because he does need to concern himself with that TDC Gaming and behind him as well. TDC Gaming, they're ready to take advantage of any... Uh, mistake or miscue here from one of the drivers as well so as we head up in through the Degners here towards the hairpin we're at about the midway point of the race and you can see a mistake made by Egon there Supra is going to get the job done coming out of the hairpin he's going to move up into fifth place there oh no and, and TDC Gaming gets it a little bit wrong there coming out of the hairpin and oh you hate to see that ladies and gentlemen all the way down to 12th place there for TDC and a handful is this car and 
just coming through the hairpin here you got a good run on Trone and just just a little too hard on the loud pedal there and unfortunately there for TDC that uh, it was enough to exit stage left there and we'll have a little chat with Barry R so uh, again late damage model the car will be fixed in 30 seconds he'll continue on but he was doing such a great job of tracking back up through the field now he's got to do it all over again here today and uh, let's see what he's got in him lots of time left in the race 42 minutes to go here Bar 27 in third place. We got Type R in fourth. We got Egon and Supra. This is a pretty good, feisty little battle between these two here. This has been ongoing for the last five or six laps now on the racetrack here. Supra had it from Egon. Egon's gotten it back from Supra. Supra took it back away from Egon. Egon's now gotten it back from Supra. So it's a good little two way battle here between these guys for fifth and sixth place right now. And, uh, Again, still trying to close in on Type R. I mean, it is just under two seconds. You can actually see, I think, a mistake made by Type R. There's uh, these guys gained a couple tenths on him right there through the S's. Ooh, almost a mistake there by Egon as he got a little bit wide uh, heading around that longest part of the S's there, the longest corner of it. Now as we head uphill, again, Egon getting it a little bit wrong. And, oh, boy, he is going to go for a ride, but he gets it out of that sand. So that's an important one there. He's going to get it back on track, and that's going to allow... Supra and Tap to get the position here. Now he's got Pappy and Trone closing in. He's going to have dirty tires here. This is going to slow him down through the Degners and heading up into the hairpin. You can see him struggling to get that car staying on track there. He's going to lose four positions in total there with that little mistake heading out of the S's. And, uh, these guys really just trying to maximize every inch of this racetrack. And unfortunately for Egon, he just uh, over-maximized a little bit there. And you can see he's still trying to get those tires scrubbed off there. His hair raise is now closing in in 10th place. So that was unfortunate there for Egon as well. Uh, but little mistake stakes here at Suzuki can, can very quickly lose you positions as we've been seeing here all day long. One miscue can put you basically at the back of the pack here. So it is Subi Mark here still leading the race on lap number 11 here. Team Rad's Petrol Head still chasing in second place here in second place. So we've got Bar 27 here in third position as well chasing uh, and the gap is still about nine seconds to Type R. So Type R is doing a great job at managing that pace gap between him and third place here right now. And he's also doing a good job at managing the pace gap to the fifth and sixth place drivers behind him. It was Supra and Egon. It is now Supra and Tap here. So this would have been a three-way battle for fifth place here. Uh, granted that Egon didn't have his little mistake coming out of the S's there. But again, lots of race left here. We're just over 40 minutes on the clock. So uh, we're going to see a couple sequences of pit stops happening here. As you can see, one major sequence starting to happen here on the racetrack right now we got tdc gaming here in 11th place we got mike 1972 in 12th we got diaphol here in 13th both drivers have made pit stops uh our front runners have yet to make a first pit stop so i'm not sure if we're seeing one stops or two stops here coming from our our front group yet but we're definitely looking like we're seeing some two stops from in behind these drivers on track here so petrol head here coming around the hairpin and he's just losing sight of mark as mark goes around uh, heading in towards Spoon Curve there. Uh, bar 27, a uh, 10 second gap there to Petrol Head. So uh, basically first, second, and third are uh, evenly spaced out between each other here. And uh, fourth place is about the same distance in behind Bar. And same thing, just as uh, Type R is entering the hairpin, Bar is heading out of the exit of that sector in towards Spoon Curve. Tap is now closing here in fifth place as he comes around the hairpin. A great shot right now by the camera crew. Uh, you got Pappy there, Egon there, and uh, Hair Razor coming through there as well. We've got TDC Gaming coming through here next in ninth place. We've got Mike1972 here. Uh, Supra, Diaphil Racing is not quite into the hairpin here. But again, the whole field still decently close together here today, and that is fantastic. We love to see that. For some reason, it won't show me that Cleveland Browns car. There we go, Tron Kobe here in 13th. And this is after, of course, the sequence pit stops happening. So again, when you make a pit stop and you find yourself sitting in 13th position, you know the field is quick that racing day. All right, so it is Subi Mark still leading the way here. Petrol leading in, or chasing in second, pardon me. We've got Bar 27 chasing in third. Type R in no man's land. There's a lot of no man's land happening now with that pit stop sequence. It's just opened the drivers up enough. We still got this good little three-way fight here for sixth place. So let's stick with this here. Uh, let's jump on board with our chasing car. Oh, wow, it's actually going to let me in on the onboard camera here even though he's in VR that is that's impressive he usually doesn't let me on the onboard for the VR drivers so uh maybe the keyboard makes a difference there but this is what it looks like from Egon's point of view here so he's the middle driver here right now in this group two sandwich a three-way battle for sixth place and he you can see in the rearview mirror up in the top right hand side of the screen he knows that hair raises there so he's managing trying not to 
lose any time with Happy Pappy here. Hopefully get some opening or an opportunity on an opening. But he's also got to watch this guy in behind who's looking to stick his nose in there. And Egon is just going to close that line off here. And he's going to go semi-defensive here into Degner 1. That may compromise his exit, but he does a great job of managing that. And you can see he is deadlocked at a fight here right now. Hair Razor is continuing to show his nose there. And let's see how Egon responds here. This is a great drive right now from these three. Happy Pappy leading this charge here in sixth place right now. And you can see uh, Tap is just up there ahead, maybe two and a half, three seconds in uh, fifth place as well. So Hair Razor actually didn't quite get a great exit there. He probably had to back out due to dirty air a little bit there. You can see Egon got a little bit of breathing room there on Hair Razor for the time being as we head into Spoon Curve. Happy Pappy, I thought, was going to make a mistake there. And again, Egon tried to get inside there, and Pappy just squeezed him tight and uh, not going to be able to get in there to get the job done. So that's going to actually compromise Egon's exit a little bit. Now that allows Hair Razor to close back in. So here we go. Are we going to see it? No, nope. we're just going to see some clean air dive from Hair Razor there as we come around 135R. And these cars are pretty much taking that full speed. So coming into this braking zone and uh, semi-defensive line there from Egon. Hair Razor took a look and oh, he makes a mistake as the curb throws the rear end around on the car. And Hair Razor is going to get around safely there. He doesn't get collected, unfortunately, there for Egon. He is going to lose that battle there with Hair Razor as he sounds, finds himself sitting in behind that battle. But he's still right there, just one and a half seconds in behind. He can close back in and re-engage this battle, but boy, oh boy, was that fun. Uh, fun little juicy battle right there between those three. And tough moment there for Egon as that curb just made that car bounce and he got on the throttle when the car was in the air. So the tires are spinning and when he lands down on that racing track surface, there's just too much rotation in those tires and a little bit of over torquing there. And that just threw his uh, back end of his car around there. He did a great job of keeping it under control though. He has uh, gathered it up quickly. Didn't lose too, too much time there. But uh, some crazy moments here at Suzuka today from the group two guys. Oh, and we got Supra having a moment in behind here now too. And he gathers that up oh my the drivers are really pushing hard here today i think this is a matter of drivers just trying to close up gaps um, and in this audio is very difficult you need to use the drs on exit here you can see he was just on that slippery curb there Woohoo! he had to gather that up so that was a great little uh, gather up there from supra as well here in 11th place and these drivers definitely having their struggles here at suzuka with these cars today you got tdc gaming here in 13th position Whew. there's a lot action happening on these racetracks today all right it is subi mark in the race lead and the gap is now almost 12 seconds over second place petrol head here uh, there he is and he's actually going to dive into pit lane here so there we go first of our drivers up in the front pack here finally making a pit stop here we got type r up into third place this driver has been just staying cool, calm, collected. He's clearly got a race plan here today and right now sitting in the podium position. So this is typically a driver who is, I would say, mid-pack to back, mid-pack finishing position typically in these races so far in the series. Looking really strong here early on in this race. Got tap here in third position. We got a nice little spam phone call. Let's hit that block button right there. Type R coming into pit lane. We've got bar 27 coming around. So bar has made a pit stop. So I didn't see him make that pit stop. So he was in third place. And that explains why type R was in third place. So that was just a lap ago. Mike1972 here in seventh place. Type R in pit lane. Happy Pappy in pit lane. Trone decides to go around for another go around here. Super is going to continue around. Diaful is also going to continue around. And TDC Gaming will be continuing around here, I'm sure, as well. So he just did make a pit stop, granted. All right. Whew, this, is a, this is a great race right here from the Group 2 class. Uh, number 70 driver, 10-10 sim racing. Subi Mark here leading the charge again. This is our championship points leader. He's been pretty dominant here so far in the Group 2 series. He's been... Uh, up always charging the front end of the pack leading kind of the pace of the race he did have one tough race uh, mid-season here at Le Mans uh, that one did not go well but he has since recovered very well from that racing round and continuing his charge for a championship and that'll be his first championship here at the Gran Turismo Racing Community if he can uh, lock it down here over the next four weekends of racing including today so it's Tap here in uh, third place with Petrolhead there in second. Pardon me. Uh, Team Rats Petrolhead here. He is strong competitor. He is defending champion from the major championship last season as well. So winning his first championship here at the GTRC last season. Uh, driving for Team Rad. And he is doing everything he can here to put the pressure on Subi Mark here to 
try and get a race win from him here to close up that 17 point spread right now in the championship standings. The sort of team rounds Petrolhead here is second overall currently in the championship. We've got Tap here, a third place driver, of course, a, a serviceman here as well, and uh, unable to put, get, uh, complete a full season, unfortunately, here typically from the Gran Turismo racing community, but when he is available to race, he is here out on track competing. He's a very pacey driver himself as well, and currently finds himself in third place. We've seen him have a couple of tough moments here on the racing track, but definitely always up to the challenge here when he does make a racing round here from the Gran Turismo racing community, longtime community member here as well uh, from GTRC. So we love to see him out on track and definitely appreciate his service. We've got Hair Razor here in fourth place, long-standing driver, another team rad driver here as well. He's got a couple of GTRC championships under his belt over the years as well. He's got a couple of stars up on the roof of that car there, and those little stars signify a championship here at the Gran Turismo Racing Community. So if you see those little Hamilton, Hamilton Lewis Hamilton-style stars on these racing cars, and we'll see if we can get a shot of them there. And that was about the best shot we've got of him so far on the roof of the car, just above the windshield banner. And he is trying to get the job done on tap here right now. He's going to look for the over-under there. That was a very slow over under he had to check up to try not to get into the bumper of tap there and that eventually uh gave tap a little bit of a better run there in that lexus so hair razor still tucked in here as we head into spoon curve we're going to stick with this here for a minute and uh we'll to continue to talk about hair razor a little bit here so uh one of the administration officials here at the ggrc he is one of the uh, masterminds behind championship series and everything that happens behind the scenes here at the gran turismo racing community and has been for a very long time uh, a, a great outstanding service here to the community and always a great championship uh contender here as well and side by side heading through 135r and ladies and gentlemen that is how you do it that is two very skilled racers right there very aware of the situation at hand and they didn't even touch a tire through there that was a great job from hair razor and tap and hair razor gets third place away from top in that pass as well so that was a beautiful move through spoon curve right there from hair razor we've got 1010 sim racing egon here sitting in fifth place and um, he raced a little bit last season, I believe, here at the GTRC, and he came in for a full-time season here with these Group 2 cars. He wanted to try his luck out with them. He wants to be more, get more familiar with the high downforce aspect of Gran Turismo Racing. He's seen a great opportunity to get involved here in this Group 2 series and has started off a little bit slow this season, struggling with the class of cars, but as the season has progressed, he seems to be starting to get more and more comfortable with these cars. And as you can see right now, currently running fifth place on the racetrack, and this driver does race in that PlayStation 5 virtual reality 2 headset as well. So uh, he is in that immersive part of the game, which is fantastic to see. We've got 1010 Sim Racing Bar 27. This is also Gran Turismo Racing Community owner here. So this is the main man. This is the boss when it comes to the GTRC here. This guy oversees all the decisions that are made, all the championships, and of course, make sure that the community is safe and sound and, and does everything he can to continue to keep this thriving community growing and finding more races for the great championships provided here from the Gran Turismo Racing Community. Uh, the community wouldn't be as strong as it is today without this gentleman. He has come a long ways in the last year's time to really strengthen this community and it shows here on the racetrack with the great racing all season long not only in the group 2 series here that we're watching today but are also our audi tt cup series that we'll be displaying next weekend here live at gt45 gaming so huge shout out to bar 27 he's doing a fantastic job here with the championships and the community here at gran turismo racing community got Mike1972 here. I don't know a ton about this driver on a personal level. He is a great member of the GTRC. He's been around a very long time as well. He's always been a contender and a racer here and he's still hunting down a championship star here from the Gran Turismo racing community. Clearly he's got the pace for it and one of these seasons he is going to break through and he is going to nab that star. Uh, he is a long time standing racer here and has always done a great job here in the community never causes any trouble he's cool he's calm he's collected at all times he's always a part of their uh fun nights that this group has on fridays and uh he's just a great racer all in all nice clean fast and efficient driver here from like 1972 love seeing him on track week in and week out supporting this great community as well long standing member We've got THD's Tron Kobe here. He's been racing with the Gran Turismo Racing Community for quite some time now and locked down his first championship here at the GTRC uh, just uh, kind of last season or two seasons ago. I can't remember, but he's got one under his belt here now too at the Gran Turismo Racing Community and a little bit laggy right now here. He was much better 
uh, for connection a little while ago. So hopefully everything is okay here for Tron as we're 28 minutes remaining on the clock here. And uh, he's a great racer. He has really come a long way in the last couple of years here. We've always been trying to push and encourage him to push himself harder and, and push his limits. And, and slowly but surely at his own pace and his own level, he's doing that. And it is really starting to show on the racetrack. He's always up at the top half of these fights here now uh, in the Gran Turismo Racing Community Series. And definitely uh, a contender to win another championship here in the future as well. We've got Happy Pappy here in ninth place. And you want to, when we talk about OGs and we talk about original members so yeah, I mean happy pappy is one of those guys he is in every racing season no matter what it is that the GTRC puts down he is here competing it doesn't matter how fast or how slow he may be depending on which series it is he just loves to be on the track and racing with the group and I got to tell you what he has great pace in these group two cars and I, I think he's been a little underestimated here in this group two season so far so huge shout out to pappy and and what he can do here in these group two cars because his pace is is absolutely on point here this season we got type r here uh number 45 driver here at the gtrc again another long-standing member of this community and this driver is a defensive racing specialist when he does not want to give a position up on the racetrack when he goes into defensive racing mode he is extremely difficult to pass even if you're one of those top rated drivers he just knows where and how to put this car on an apex so you can't find the hole to get through you need him to make the mistake or you need to set up a good run is the only way to get around type r when he is in that defensive racing mode he is an absolute great defensive racer and he's been showing great pace here in these group two cars as well this season currently sitting in eighth place here in this race we talked about egon we talked about bar we have some pit stops happening so it is kind of throwing the field around a little bit so i just want to make sure we catch everybody here we don't want to miss anybody uh all right so we've got tdc gaming here it's t it's rad the damn cat here on screen that is his psm but he is a content creator again on facebook and youtube YouTube is TDC Gaming, TDC, T as in Tom, D as in Diane, and C as in Console Gaming. And, uh, you know, he does a lot of variety content on his channel as well. He does a lot of retro gaming, a lot of PS2, PS3 style stuff too as well on his channel. So, uh, you know, uh, we've watched this driver come a long ways over the last year too as well. You know, he started in open lobby racing in my lobbies uh, right before GT7 kind of came out and then, and then moved right over to GT7 and slowly but surely has turned himself into quite a nice little endurance racer here. And he is the only driver in this old school technology. He's going to give us a little slideshow there making a little bit of a mistake there in the hairpin but he's just gonna get it back on track and keep going and there is no quit in this driver ever this driver does not give in no matter how tough of a day he may be having he is always going to finish that race unless his internet doesn't allow him to he is really a class act on and off the racing track we got Supra here. Supra is an OG in this community as well, and uh, he this 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 guy has pace for miles. He has such a, a large amount of pace, and he's still kind of learning to hone that in into racecraft and 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 attacking and defending. And it's been an up and down battle for this driver, but you know this community has really really helped and 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 bared with through his learning processes and this season is some of the best racing I have ever seen out of this driver uh, the control of the car uh, he has done such a great job at, at working out some of the things that were creating him problems in racing and it is providing with a lot better in racing environment for this driver and that that improvement from last season to this point in this season it has my eyes wide open. It is very impressive to see how quickly a driver can turn things around um, when they're having fun and, and, and they want to continue to be uh, a growing competitive racer. And I feel like he's actually reverted back just a little bit too much, but it, that's not a bad thing. You know, he is finding his way as a racer, and when he figures out everything in between his pace, look out for this guy. He's going to be competing for championships here in this community without a question of a doubt. We got Diafold Racing here. I don't know a ton about this guy either. Um, he's been in the community for quite some time here. He's been racing the last few championship seasons here. And depending on the car, this guy has crazy pace. Uh, it seems like the GR2s here may be something a little bit new to him here. But 
Uh, it's been a little bit of a slow slow season here for Dial Full Racing here so far this season, but these guys have done a great job here uh, coming in and racing hard. And he's got a, one of his teammates in the series here who's not currently in the race today uh, who's been doing a great job here in the season as well. So a uh, huge love to Dial Full Racing here. And it, again, depending on the type of car that these guys are racing, he is extremely quick. He's not really showing what he is capable of here today per se. But don't count this driver out. He is a championship contender here in the GTRC without a question of a doubt. I just don't think the Group 2 class is his cup of tea is all. Ooh, and a big mistake there, as you can see. He's going to do a 360. Oh, and the sand does his job there. It slows him down, and that was unfortunate there. That was a, that was a tough moment right there. Just... Uh, he caught that curb and it just uh, it, it snapped that car around on him and these these Honda NSX cars are mid-engine cars so they're very easy to unstabilize and that's all that happened there he just kind of hooked that curb with the front end of the car and it just yanked his his car around on him there and that was uh, some high speed 360 action coming from Dialful Racing right there how you doing we appreciate you Marbles, how you doing, my man? Hope you're enjoying the race here tonight. All right, so let's get back to the race. We did talk a little bit about our drivers here, and we haven't done that yet this season. So uh, a great, I think a great time about mid-season here to have a little bit of a chat over about our drivers and, and give you what we can for information about the drivers anyways. We try our best to know as much as we can about the racers, but uh, as we commentate for more and more organizations, uh, it, it, it gets tough to, to build those personal relationships with the drivers, but we definitely do the best we can. We got Troll and Kobe now up into second place here. We've got Team Rad's Petrol Head here in third. We've got Hair Razor in fourth. We've got Tap in fifth. There's a lot of spacing happening here right now, as, uh, and as, I, as, as drivers kind of sequence out their pit stop sequences, I think that'll close the field back up probably with about 10 minutes left. Uh, we've got Egon here in seventh bar 27 just ahead of him in six so a couple teammates close together there we've got mike 1972 here in eighth position we've got type r in ninth place we've got happy pappy here in 10th place as well in that gtr we've got supra here in 11th with ddc gaming in 13th place and diaphal racing just grabbing that position there and the poor boy uh, is having a day here in that uh, 2008 Honda NSX GT500 there. That is an old school car, so that car relies a lot more on mechanical grip than it does aerodynamic grip compared to this newer version of Honda NSX. I believe this is a 2016 edition uh, Honda NSX Group 2 car here. So uh, two very different racing cars uh, separated by about eight years. And this one relies a lot more on aerodynamic force uh, due to new racing technology than a TDC epson car here that relies a lot more on mechanical grip so this car needs to be approached a lot differently around racetracks than the race leaders car does because they're completely two different driving styles and you know you got to give credit where credit is due we see this a lot in these open style series like this you always see one or maybe two drivers go into some old school technology to to put up against the, the new school technology and it really does provide for some great racing it's just unfortunate he's having a tough day here today it's a tough racetrack so it is Subi Mark here in the racing lead. We got Trone Kobe now up into second place. And as we're sitting there having a little chit chat about our drivers, Trone Kobe has uh, put his foot into that loud pedal all of a sudden and decided that it is time to go play on the podium. So right now he's trying to hold back third place driver Team Rats Petrohead. The gap is 1.6 seconds here. And this is uh, the closest thing to a battle for podium we have at the moment is he is tracking in a little bit here, but Trone Kobe doing a great job here as he comes through 135R. We got Petrol coming through 135R here as well. And the gap is still at about 1.6 seconds. So Trone doing a good job of managing that gap to third place here for the time being. Harris is 13 seconds in behind that group right now. We've got Tap here in fifth place. And as we're talking about it, Trone Kobe coming in for what I would be, I would assume to be his final pit stop here today. But I could be wrong. I, I don't know what these driver strategies are. We've got Tap here up into fifth position here. He's doing a really great job here today. Bar 27 in sixth place as well, having a great race for himself. Mike 1972. This driver started off like a lightning bolt. Had a little bit of a, a mistake coming into the Casio Triangle very early race, and he just kind of has settled down since then and he's still doing really great here in seventh place but that may have maybe taken a little bit out of his rhythm that early race incident there and he's just maybe dialed it back a little bit but we'll see how it all settles out after again pit stops kind of sequence out here 
Oof, Egon getting it a little bit wrong there as he was chasing down there. He does a great job at not getting the car uh, sideways or spinning coming out of turn one and two there. And you can see it's a very slow re-entry there as you have to be careful that that curbing is very slippery. It's very dusty as well. And uh, these racing tires, they like to spin. It's like ice when you get your, when you get to these, these really warm racing slicks on that artificial curbing. Um, it's just like stepping on ice with a warm pair of shoes. So you can hold on. You might be going for a ride. Uh, we got Happy Pappy here in 10th place we've got supra in 11th position we're just trying to kind of get an idea here if we're going to see potential battles starting to brew up here based off of our pit strategies so uh it is 10 10 subi mark here he's got 11 seconds to the good still so even after through some pit stop sequencing here uh this driver has done a good job at maintaining that uh that gap for the race lead here over second place driver petrohead these two have pretty much uh, been in control of this race since the green flag has dropped here today. And you can see uh, Petrohead actually carrying the 01 on his car, signifying that he is the defending champion here in the major championship season coming from last season as well. So another inclination there that he is that defending champion. We've got Hairraiser here in third position, and he's had a pretty good race for himself here. He's really, uh, he's come and talked to us a few times during podium interviews this season, but it's been on behalf of other drivers. So uh, it would be nice to come and have a chat for, with Hairraiser for his podium finish here this season. Right now, he, potentially he's got that uh in the bag here with 17 minutes but there is a plenty of race left we've seen how much feistiness can happen in 13 minutes 17 minutes a lot can happen still bar 27 here in fifth place 5.4 seconds is the gap to tap he's got three and a half seconds to throw in kobe in behind so now we're kind of trying to keep our eye on the gaps here like 1972 is about 3.7 to throw and he's got a big gap on egon because egon did make that small mistake there uh, in turn one and two and that definitely cost him some time and now type r tracking here in ninth place two and a half seconds in behind egon here so we're going to be keeping our eye on that happy pappy isn't too far behind here in 10th either super is woo -hoo -hoo, gonna drift around turn number two there and that audi is a spicy tamale here when you need to use that drs button so it definitely is a handful uh, coming out of these corners here, you can see TDC does a great job coming through 135R there again to not let the outside curbing uh, send them for a ride. There we got Diavol here in 13th. So a couple drivers not having the best of days here on track today, but they're still out there and they're still putting in that time. They're still getting that seat time. They're learning about their cars. They're getting that experience and they're also getting points in their championship standings. So you, you just got to always keep going because you just never know what's going to happen. This is a virtual world. We are at the mercy of servers, internet connections, lots of things can happen. So you always just got to take it to the checkered flag. You never know what will happen until the race is over. 10 10 Subi Mark here got the gap almost up into 12 seconds. Uh, we've got Petrol Head here. Ooh, almost made a little mistake there. Kind of had to give a little extra trail break in there just to keep the car on point. Uh, Hair Razor has 12.4 seconds of second place here. So Tap is kind of the closest driver right now for a potential podium gain, and that is 3.4 seconds in behind Hair Razor. He has not allowed bar 27 in fifth place to gain at all. Maybe a half a tenth here last time around, and Troen has lost a couple of tenths to bar 27. And oh boy, commentators cursing here tonight. Every time we seem to go on a driver here, they are giving us a show, and you can see Mike1972 is going to take advantage of that, grab sixth place. Troen kept that thing out of the wall with a couple of 360 spins there, and he is going to enter into the S's with 30 tires there, but uh, managing just to lose the one position here on the racetrack, so not too entirely bad there. Well, a little bit of fun along for the ride, so he's got to get that he's got to get that adrenaline back under control there and, and get refocused back up and behind the wheel of that car because tense moments in these cars, and oh boy, we got some fighting happening in back here. Let's go. Uh, potential four-way battle for eighth position starting to develop here in the, the back side of the pack here as this race is drawing towards an end. We got 14 minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. And it is currently Supra putting some pressure on Egon here. So we're going to stick with this here for a moment. And Egon and Supra are not that far behind Happy Pappy and Type R here either. So Happy Pappy has gotten around um, Egon here most recently. Now Egon is trying to stay with those two but now he's getting some pressure from super and super again just trying to get the power down there to get a run and you can see the big wiggle with that drs that were side by side coming into the hairpin here 
And a little bit of side-to-side -side contact there as Egon gets a little bit of a slide coming into the corner there. And these two are on different tire compounds as well. So uh, Supra does have a tire advantage here, but Egon's doing a great job of defending the position from Supra here so far. Uh, but that is only going to last for so long here as these medium tires will eventually uh, outpace these hard tires. And this could potentially be the spot that could happen here is coming into the out of spoon curve <laughs> out of spoon curve into the long packs run to 135 r this is a high speed section the medium tires are going to have more grip so they should gain power faster as you can see he's got that position on the outside track there and great job by those two to hold their lines through uh 135 r and super it gets the job done a lot more grip level in that audi currently than on the lexus of egon egon's doing a good job at hanging in there but he's lost a couple of positions here uh at the end of the race so it is a 16.2 second gap from 10 10 to be marked around petrohead so petrohead clearly has made a mistake somewhere hair raises now 9.5 seconds in behind so that was about a four and a half second mistake that petrohead had made there at some point uh this last time around so hair raises now trying to close starting to close in here it was eight seconds uh tap slightly losing touch there with hair razor uh, or is he gaining it was five point he's gaining it was 5.3 so he's gaining a second here um, on hair razor actually and that's pretty that's pretty good gain in a, in a little over a lap here at suzuka so maybe a little mistake made by hair razor potentially bar 27 is having a good race here he's in fifth place he got 7.8 seconds he is losing time on tap there mike 1972 is 3.3 seconds behind bar he's gained a little bit of time on bar and he can see bar as they enter into spoon curve there so if there's incentive to try and get a little more speed out of your racing car at this point in the race it usually is seeing a positional potential positional battle up in front of you so Tro and Kobe here in seventh place coming out of spoon curve nice big wide X they should have a nice run up that straight to 135 R type R heading into spoon curve here he's in eighth place and he's got 16 seconds so really he needs to worry about Pappy chasing here in ninth place right now we've got uh, Superboy here in 10th position and a half second track limit penalty there and that's unfortunate for him there as Egon is still right in behind him there uh giving him the giving him the business here uh on those different tires so egon is doing a great job at pacing super here on those hard tires and unfortunately there for super that's going to probably cost him position here on egon and he's gonna have to fight back around egon here now as we head into 135r egon is going to get the position back from super here and egon is going to hold down 10th place here over super for the time being so great battle for 10th place at the moment between those two drivers and Subi Mark, oh boy, uh, it is falling apart here for Team Rad's Petrol Head here as uh, our race leader is starting to close in on the back of the pack here now. Uh, obviously another mistake made here by Petrol most recently and now the gap to the race lead is 23 seconds. So right now Petrol's focus is not that race leader anymore. It is this guy right here, Hair Razor, chasing in third place. So uh, over the last two laps, Hair Razor has been given uh, 12 seconds to the good by whatever is going on for Petrohead, just a little mistakes that he's made probably a couple little half spins or a little moments on the racetrack with that gtr as the tires start to degrade on those nissan gtrs it gets very difficult to drive and i think that might be a case of what we're seeing from team rad's petrol head here right now but that is good for hair raisers here that has allowed him to almost get within striking distance and there is still a little over 10 minutes on the clock there is time for hair razor to engage this battle for second place and that also means there's potentially time for tap to engage a podium positional battle here as well as he has been tracking here in this final stint bar 27 7.6 seconds away from tap he's going to keep pushing obviously to try and catch that front group but right now his concern needs to be with mike 1972 who is very quickly closing in 2.1 seconds here as we head into the casio triangle it was 3.1 uh just a half lap go when we're when we were watching these two before so uh he is definitely closing in on bar 27 Drone Kobe here in a seventh position uh, and he's in no man's land right now so he can see those guys up ahead but that is still a seven and a half second gap to close we've got type R here in eighth place we've got Pappy in ninth and we got Super and Egon battling it out here again side by side through 135R and Super uh, absolutely committed really deep into 35R there and that's going to force him really wide outside the corner there and uh, somehow some way I'm not sure how he did not get a penalty for that there but uh, track officials deeming that he didn't gain any advantage through there and did not give him a penalty there so unfortunately there for Egon he might have been able to take advantage of that there if there's a penalty but now he's going to have to 
Uh, shake back down in behind there and, and super really committed to that line there through 135R and it seemed to have worked out for him there. He had definitely seemed to have worked out for him there. TDC Gaming here in 12th position and Diaphol Racing here looks like he's uh, calling it a day here. Looks like that car is in some kind of uh, disarray here. You can see the driver sitting in the car still but uh, it doesn't look like they're doesn't look like they're working on that car at this moment so it looks like it's going to be uh retired at the pits here for dive racing right at the end of the race it happens cars break down ladies and gentlemen that is real life racing so what do you do you come back in the next racing round and you do it all over again these crews are amazing they have they have two weeks as well to work on these cars get these cars ready for the next racing round of course we have uh every two week schedule here for the group two cars and then in between our group two championship season is our audi tt cup series in those off weekends which will be displaying next saturday afternoon right here at gt45 gaming so Air Razor, 1.9 seconds in behind Petrolhead. We are going to be keeping a close eye on the second and third place battle here uh, as Hair Razor is closing in. Tap is losing touch just a little tiny bit here currently. He hasn't made the mistake. He's just losing touch with that, uh, that battle potentially for third place. So here we go. Mike 1972 and Bar 27. We knew this was going to be happening here pretty soon too, but Mike 1972 really closed up quickly here on bar 27 and he is in sixth place and he is going to be looking to try and get around bar 27 here obviously for fifth place with seven minutes left on the clock that's only going to give him about three more three more laps i think after this lap to, to get the job done so he is going to be looking for an opportunity here to apply some pressure to bar 27 bar 27 is more than aware that he's there he's already on the defensive line heading into degner one that is going to compromise his exit though and there we go mike 1972 doesn't have to do anything but just apply some pressure there bar makes the mistake on the under defense there and uh and gives up the position unfortunately mike 1972 i think that was inevitable there as uh, bar 27 is just on worn out more worn out racing tires than mike 1972 so now bar 27 needs to also worry about Tron Kobe chasing him behind 6.3 seconds but also try to stay uh, on the back end of Mike 1972 here to try and maybe close up on a tap before the end of the race but uh, we're talking eight seconds there that is going to be a tough tough close all right 1.7 seconds is the gap from first to second place here or second to third place pardon me we're just kind of monitoring that we don't want to miss any of the late action here on the racetrack so we're going to try Oof, Pappy having a moment coming out of the uh, hairpin there. Uh, there we go, side-by-side -side action here. Egon and Super, they're very actively engaged here in this two-way battle for 10th place right now. This has been an ongoing battle for probably about the last 20 minutes uh, of this race. These two, they don't care what's happening on the racetrack anywhere else. These guys are absolutely actively engaged in this fight right now. And it's been a good battle. Oh, a little bit of contact right there between the two drivers. I, ooh, I think Egon's going to give that back there. He's really checked up there. Uh, you can see that is great sportsmanship right there. He did not mean to push out super right there. Good job. GG's. Let's get a round of applause for the sportsmanship on the racetrack right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get some clapping hands up in the chat. That was a great moment right there. This is why we do this, ladies and gentlemen. Respect shown by competitors right there. Hard, hard racing. But uh, that, that was a mistake made there. Egon realized that, and he wants to do it right. So re-engage, gets the position back from Super there in 10th place. And we're going to be keeping our eye on that battle here as well because it is a juicy one. All right. There we go. So it's Petrol and Hair Razor. 1.6 seconds. We're trying to keep our eye basically on these two key areas here right now. Uh, between between Egon and Supra and Petrol Head and Razor. Because this is where the battles are on the track leading into the end of this race here right now. So let's try to stick with this the best we can here. And this is a juicy battle between these two. Now, again, Egon's on the racing hard tire. Supra's on the racing medium tire. Supra should have the advantage here, but Egon is doing a top-level job at absolutely bringing the business to Supra with those hard racing tires here. So this is a great battle. There is more to this battle than everybody realizes. And Egon gets it a little bit wide. Supra's going to take advantage there. He manages to get it back on track, though. So this, is, this battle's not done. He is going to have to take it easy coming through Degner 1 and 2 here a little bit that's going to allow Super to open up a gap a little bit here but Matt Egon is not done with this battle yet he is tucked in still let's go back into second and third place here for a minute let's go see what's happening up front four minutes on the clock as these guys cross the finish line start finish line here that is going to be good enough for uh three more laps here on the racetrack pending no big mistakes 
All right, so Supra has opened up a little gap here, 1.1 seconds right now over Egon. So a little bit of breathing room, but for how long? <laughs> we have yet to decide. Uh, he's done this a couple of times. He started to get away from Egon, and Egon has found a way to close back in. So we're keeping an eye on it. We're keeping an eye on it. Oh, we've got a yellow flag up ahead here. The drivers need to be careful here. You cannot pass under yellow conditions. You will incur a three-second penalty. They are through that yellow flag zone there now, and we are back to green. So uh, good job there. Good racing awareness. A great job by our flag crews there to keep these drivers drivers racing as long and quickly as possible here as we are getting near the end three minutes ten seconds petrol head here is closing in or hair razors closing in on petrol here the gap is under a second hair razors in the slip as we head towards spoon curve here we may see this battle happening by lap number 31 you can see petrol really struggling here right now those tires uh front tires especially on this racing car right now in very tough shape so hair razor's doing a great job here he's not pushing he's not overdriving his car and that's allowing him just to naturally close in on petrol here but hair razor is running out of time he's got two laps to go here when he comes around so Supi mark just came across the line two to go for a race leader here and petrol head and hair razor are two-way battle for second place here uh is under fire right now so hair razor has been closing up closing up petrol's had a couple of mistakes to allow hair razor to get into this position and we are game on with two minutes and 13 seconds two to go all right two lap shootout tap coming through here and it should be two to go for him as well mike 1972 he's got seven seconds from tap here let's see where he comes across the line here he should also have two more laps to go here bar 27 in sixth place and it's going to be the final lap for sixth place and back here so uh one to go here for bar 27 thrown kobe is closing we got another close battle here in sixth and seventh place as well all right Happy Pappy closing in on Type R. Uh, looks like that that battle here for eighth there, or for tenth place has fizzled out as well. And this is a good battle right here between Barr and Tro and Kobe. We got a battle here between Petrol and Hair Razor. I mean, where do we watch right now, ladies and gentlemen? We got three battles potentially brewing on track here. All right, let's just try to keep an eye on all of them at the same time here. Here we go. Petrol Head, Hair Razor coming through the hairpin, and Hair Razor's got to run. He is tucked right in underneath Petrol Head here, and he is he going to take a look? Coming into Spoon Curve, I don't think so. All right, we're just trying to keep an eye on Bar 27 here and Tro and Colby as well. We got Pappy and Type R closing in together here as well. There's a lot happening on this racetrack right now, but right now we're going to stick with second and third place. This is battle for podium positions here. We have 50 seconds on the clock. These drivers are going to come around with one more lap to go here uh, very, very shortly. Where is our race leader? Make sure we see him coming through. All right, one to go. Final lap, ladies and gentlemen. Hair Razor, he's, you, he took a little dive there. He made him maybe think. I think that was a little mental strategy coming right there from hair razor and so far petrol's doing everything right he's holding off the charge of hair razor as they come across the line here okay we're keeping an eye we're keeping an eye we're keeping an eye we got a back marker involved in that battle there as well all right one to go here final lap for hair razor and uh petrol head we got tap coming through here where is he tap is going to be one to go here as well mike 1972 coming around for his final lap let's get back to the battle side by side action here between bar 27 and tron colby this is going to be the end of the race for these drivers so whichever of these two comes across that line first is going to hold down sixth place and bar 27 is he going to hold it tight he is going to hold it tight and what a great battle right there between bar 27 and tron colby knows the tail finish for sixth and seventh place tdc gaming is going to come in behind them there as well congratulations to those two keeping an eye on it here trying to keep an eye on that battle there all right so it's going to be pappy coming through here with type r as well there he is type r in eighth place great race finish here for type r happy pappy is going to come home in ninth place it's going to be super rounding it out here in 10th place tdc coming across there in uh 12th place right in behind throwing and bar there as well uh keeping an eye keeping an eye keeping an eye all right, Super coming across here in 10th position. We've got Egon coming through here now as well. Diafol Racing will finish from pit lane. There we go. Let's get back to that battle for second place. Egon there. Great race finish for him. That was a great spicy battle between him and Supra. And we got half a lap to go here. 
Oh boy, Spoon Curve, we got a quarter lap to go here. Hair Razor's looking, gonna be looking for the run. We do have uh, equal tires on these cars. It's gonna come down to the drivers at this point. This is for second and third position here, ladies and gentlemen. The clock has ran out when these drivers cross the start finish line. It will be a checkered flag here. So this is a battle for second and third place to the finish. Petrol's going to go defensive. Can Hair Razor get the job done through the Casio Triangle? Big move on the outside. We're side by side and we're going to be drag racing. We're going to be drag racing. Which car has the power? Which car has the tire? It's going to be Petrol head for second place and it is by a tenth of a second what a race right there ladies and gentlemen tap is going to bring it home here in fourth place and mike 1972 is going to bring it home here in fifth position that battle right there side by side to the start and finish line hair razor with that huge attempt on the outside of the casio triangle petrol head hanging in there and it was a drag race to the finish line and it's going to be petrol head in second place over hair razor and i bet you that is by less than a tenth of a second ladies and gentlemen that was about by a nose clip right there separating second and third place across the line what an incredible race today from the gtrc the gran turismo racing community Whew. boys kept me on my toes all day wow gee geez what a finish what a finish Oh, these guys. Every week at these Grief 2 cars, it's just something special on the racetrack. Never a disappointment from this community with this series. We may need to bring this series back. It is just a beauty. Oh, it's a beauty. Good job to the racers. Wow. I'm sweating in the booth. I wasn't even in this car. I am sweating in the booth right now. That was intense racing action today, folks. GG's to all 13 of our drivers today. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a race. What a race. That is it. Congratulations to 1010 Sim Racing, Subi Mark. Pole position and the race win. I'm not sure if we got fastest lap locked in there, and he does. He gets the trifecta here today, scoops up the bonus points as well, and works really hard on securing that points lead. Uh, we do have Team Rats Petrolhead in second position, Hair Razor in third. We've got Tap in fourth place, Mike 1972 in fifth. We got Bar 27 in sixth, Drone Kobe in seventh. Another close finish right there between those two. We got Type R in eighth and Happy Pappy in ninth place. It is Supra in tenth position, Egon in eleventh. We got TDC Gaming in twelfth, Diaphol Racing in third place. So Petrolhead did finish in second place. He's just left the lobby before the, the live timing came in, and that's why it shows him at the end of the race. We'll sort that out behind the scenes with our points officials after the fact. Uh, obviously, we've seen him finish in that crazy drag race to the finish line, and we're going to save that replay. So great job to our racers here today. And with that being said, that means it's podium interviews time. So I'm just going to try and open up Discord here. So give me a moment, ladies and gentlemen. This will take a moment. And we'll go talk with some of our podium and some of our podium drivers here today. Are you going to work? Please, please, please. Whew, that was that was a great race. That was a great race. I love this GR2 series myself personally. Um, I look forward to this every every other weekend. Uh, it is. It is just straight hype. I wake up in the morning and I'm immediately excited on Group 2 day. And that's why. Uh, what a what a great race. Uh, I don't even know where to begin with this race. It was just, it was really non-stop action from start to finish. There was not a whole lot of um, dead time, so to speak, within this race here today. And that's that's what we love to see. So let's get up into that booth here. We have some of the drivers already in there. And uh, we'll go get talking here with our group. So just give me a moment. Got to get some audios up and going. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Let's go chat. Let's go have a chat with our race finishers here. We're going to start with our race winner here today. We normally start with our bottom of the podium, but we'll start with our race winner here today as 
Uh, we don't get too many opportunities to talk with him here so far this season, so let's take advantage. So we have 10 tenths uh, sim racing Subi Mark here with a absolutely dominant performance here today. You started off great qualifying, got that pole position, you got a good clean race start, and immediately opened up the gap as quickly as possible, and it didn't seem like uh, the rest of the field really had the answer for you here today. You controlled the race from start to finish. Great run here from you today. Talk us through it. So the idea was to get as big of a gap as possible. And as soon as I looked up and I had like a 20 sec 26, 28 second gap, I just I just took it easy from there. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm just fixing an audio issue here for a moment, Chad. I oh. hope you could hear him there, but I could not. So that is odd. Bear with me here. I hear it. There we go. That should be sorted out. All right. So uh, I didn't quite hear what you said there, but uh, if you just want to repeat that for me there, and then we'll uh, we'll continue on here. Yeah, no worries. So the plan was just open up as big as of a gap as possible at the start. And then when I, I made the pits, I decided I actually changed my pit strategy because I was going to go on hards for the final bit. But I changed um, to decided to go on hards after my first medium. So I had a better last stint and when i saw that i have opened up a 28 second gap i just I, I took it easy after that absolutely and i mean you didn't seem like you had too many uh miscues here at suzuka today now suzuka is a tough racetrack obviously there is the potential for the weather to come in here today so i guess uh how much of the weather was on the back of your mind here today or are you just kind of relying on your pit crew your team in behind the pit wall there to kind of just keep you informed on what was tracking uh for weather systems around the racetrack I actually got a bit scared towards the end. I was like, oh no, it looks like it's going to rain. Weather radar was on for the final eight minutes, 10 minutes of the race. Well, thankfully that didn't happen for our racers today. And that's a great thing because we had an absolutely spectacular race here. Now it was, like I said, it was pretty cool, calm, collected for yourself. You just kind of controlled the pace of the race. And, and like you said, once you realized you had a big gap there, you just kind of dialed it back and just brought it home. Uh, and really opening up that championship points lead here. So you're looking really good with three rounds of racing left for the series. I guess the bigger question is now, what's your goal uh, moving forward over the next three rounds? Is it still to try to kind of assert that pace dominance and try to control the pace of each race or you now you're just kind of worried about just finishing where you need to finish to lock in that championship for the season my plan is to get at least a podium on daytona and then when it becomes when we are on spa i'm hoping to get a first place to get a big a decent cushion um and hopefully it's all wrapped up and done by nurburgring so then i don't have to push anymore i can just take it, it relax absolutely and you know absolutely just incredible field of racing here uh but it didn't seem like anybody really had the answer for 10 10 Subi mark here today ladies and gentlemen so congratulations on an absolutely amazing racing performance here today again and any th final remarks and shout outs you'd like to throw out to the viewers watching at home yeah i want to shout out to all the drivers it's been it's really fun racing with everyone shout out and shout out to yourself for streaming it all and uh yeah it's been fun it's been really fun Absolutely. And on a side note, of course, of 1010 Sim Racing co-owner, congratulations and well done, my friend. We're proud of you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this man, <laughs> we love talking to this guy all the time. This poor guy, he has been in so many podium interviews here this season, and he's been here on behalf of somebody else. So today we get to talk to him on behalf of of himself congratulations hair razor very very well thought out planned race here for you today and uh i mean talk us through it we'll talk about that last stint here uh, in a little bit but talk us through especially the early parts of that race you were actively kind of involved in that uh jostling and all that transitioning that was going on in the early part of the pack there there was a good solid six seven way battle happening for the podium very early on so let's go there race starts off you guys get through nice good clean race start again here from this group and it is race on and you did a great job at really fighting your way through in the early part so let's talk about the early part of the race and then we'll move into the back half here uh uh, after the first half so talk us through your first half of your race okay the first part of the race um obviously uh, a lot of drivers were on medium tires and i chose to uh do the hard tires to get them out of the way uh and just do five laps on the hard um so i knew i was up against it um but 
obviously when the medium ties were behind me, I was like, oh my God, uh, with me being on hard, I thought I was going to get really um, overtaken a lot by a lot of the drivers, but um, I managed to fight some of them off. Um, but yeah, that was really tough to keep them uh, hard on the track and trying to keep up pace with the other drivers as well. So yeah, that was really tough, but whew, yeah, it was a good battle. Yeah. Absolutely, and and of course, one of our one of our key contenders wasn't on track here today, and we're definitely thinking of him. Doug Burrow missing on track here today, and of course, teammate too, one of the drivers you you tend to work with quite a bit and practice with quite a bit. So, do you think that that maybe potentially might, might have affected the outcome of the race here a little bit today? Um, most likely, probably yes. Um, but maybe I mean I know I know that uh, Doug was probably struggling a little bit on the tire wear around here, uh, with him being on a pad. Um. So I hope he gets better soon because um, I know he, he suffers a little bit. But um, yeah, shout out to Doug there. But yeah, I think he would have uh, definitely give us a bit of a run for the money. Definitely. Absolutely. And, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes the racers just can't make a race. And it is it's up to the racers chasing that driver in, in championship points to, to, to take advantage of that driver missing in the grid for that particular week as well. And you definitely did that. You had a great drive here today. You didn't put too many feet wrong here today. We didn't see any too many big, big moments coming out of uh, your Honda NSX here on the track. So, you know, you start to settle in. And as you said, you started very early on the hard tires. You went to that medium tire uh, two-stop stint at the end of the race. You get into the final stint and you come out and you're in third place. You're in a really great position there. You and Type R were kind of swapping that position around a little bit there in the earlier part of the race, which was fantastic to see as well. Uh, but you know, you had 14 seconds to the second place uh, Petro Head, who was trying to chase down Mark, and then all of a sudden that 14 turned into 10. What was going through your mind at that moment? Well, uh, I knew that I was on mediums, and I was trying to push as hard as I can. Um, without because any little foot wrong on this circuit and you're out and you could lose uh, a lot of time and um, the grid would easily catch you up so um, I tried to push as as good as I can to try and get up to petrol because I thought I've got a battle with him really because I, I wouldn't have a chance to get up with uh, Mark because he was just too quick it was too too much in front you know um, but yeah um, I saw the time dwindling down a fair bit and I thought oh, I must be catching him uh he's either made a mistake um and then right towards the end blimey <laughs> exactly so let's talk about that I mean uh we we missed what happened actually both times with the time loss there we didn't catch it but definitely obviously making a mistake maybe a semi spin or had to gather the car up maybe a little bit wide coming out of one of the corners which we know Suzuka is famous for uh causing trouble for racers that decide to put their tires out on the curbing especially on this racetrack so uh you know maybe just uh just a little moments there but then you know the the gap goes from nine seconds to, to three seconds and you have about 14 minutes give or take on the clock what's going through your mind now at that point in the race um how do i get around um petrol head how do i get around him without um ruining both of our races and um uh, any other driver as well um but yeah it, it was quite a uh, a battle right towards the end um we was neck and neck going into the last chicane literally side by side and uh i think it was about i don't know quarter of a card length he got me by over the line it was that close and i think probably another uh, another lap definitely i probably may have had him um but well done to petrol for keeping it with good driving absolutely yeah, and then cue in of course to our final lap of the race there uh you, you know you're running out of time you know you're running out of time you get a little bit of a run you get yourself on that outside position yeah. coming into the casio and a uh, great job by the two of you to get through that uh, that sector of corner side by side the way you guys did and an absolutely great drag race to the finish and unfortunately for you that gtr just out muscled your nsx and uh, beat you by about a front fender there to the start finish line but nonetheless absolutely crazy great race finish from you two the fans were absolutely on fire and uh congratulations on the third place finish here razor literally a tenth of a second away from second place today my man <laughs> thanks Tim. thank you very much his star thank you and uh shout outs and thank yous as well before we go talk with petrol yeah shout out to all the drivers they've done a fantastic job tonight well done uh every driver even the newcomers really good great job um uh good luck to uh doug uh hope he gets better soon and thanks to yourself and uh thank you to lady razor as well thank you 
Absolutely. You got to get that shout out to the family. You know, that, that's always important from the racers and good calls, my man. And we appreciate you. Congratulations. It was nice to talk to you for you finishing on the podium here for a change of the season. And let's hope that is a continuing trend here as we move towards the end of the season. Woo-hoo. I hope so, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our second place finisher here, Team Rad's Petrol Head. This guy gave it a proper attempt here today to close up that gap on 10 10 Subi Mark, but Mark just seemed to have a little bit more pace over the rest of the field here today. And unfortunately for Petrol, I think that overdrive at the uh, end of the race there might have just worn down those tires a little too much for him, but incredible race for you here today. And I mean, it wasn't an easy race for you. You were engaged in some very active battling uh through in several parts of the race here today so talk us through how your race went for you and are you satisfied with how it all shaped out uh with all the chaos and absolute great battling on the track today um it it was i knew i didn't have the pace of mark uh through testing this this track doesn't suit the nismo at all um it was going to be a struggle from the very get-go um i Honestly, that start I had, I think, made my race because I'm pretty sure Razor started on hard tires. And if I got stuck behind him, it was game over uh, because it's so difficult to to pass around here. Um, I did make quite a few mistakes uh, and I had quite high tire wear towards the end, actually, which caught me out. Um, That's how Razor caught me. And I knew Razor. I, I knew Razor was so much better than to Casio Triangle than me. I just knew if he gets within two tenths of me, I'm gonna have to defend my position. Um, honestly, I'll be honest. It was a very scruffy race from my end. I made quite a few tiny errors, but with Suzuka being Suzuka, tiny tiny errors will always be punished. So uh, yeah, it was a scruffy race for me scruffy scruffy but i think a lot of the racers had their their battles with suzuka here today too i mean we didn't see a lot of uh necessarily huge moments i guess on the racetrack we definitely seen some pretty good uh some pretty good ones uh from a couple of our drivers but for the most part they were exactly like you're saying you know those little mistakes uh a driver you know going maybe in the spoon curve gets that right rear tire dipped just a little over the rumble strip there and and you know get that half spin going as you're coming around the exit there and you got to gather it up type stuff like that uh was was that what was happening there to you were towards the end of the race there as you were uh trying to hold razor off yeah pretty much um i think every it was every single time i attempted to make like a push um either the nissan would complain about what i'm doing so i'll get a snap or i'll outbreak myself by probably a meter two meters and then especially in spoon spoon was horrible i could not get spoon right at all the entire race um and it it was it was a a struggle for me i'll be honest but honestly i think i think as of right now i've just got to try and keep as clean as possible for the rest of the championship to see if i can capitalize on any mark mistakes but um yeah it was a difficult one. Well, I mean, we have seen, we have seen already from our championship points leaders, you know, uh, in, uh, just a couple of rounds ago at Le Mans, they're really not have uh, an ideal day at the racetrack. So, you know, it's entirely possible uh, that our championship points leader could in the next three rounds of racing have a, uh, just another potential bad day at the track. So uh, you just never know. And uh, it was funny. I was actually just going to ask you that question next. just like you read my mind. Uh, I was going to ask you, I guess, what your game plan is coming into the next three rounds. There's going to be, uh, you know, a little over, 20 point gap between the two of you i think all said and done here uh once those results are official heading into our chase to the championship essentially three rounds to go so i mean i mean you kind of said my answer so you know i know how you are you're a competitor you don't have a lot of i'm not gonna fight in you so is it still full push all the way through to the end for you yeah yeah it's full push um looking at the calendar um it's daytona roval some people will be mad at me for saying Roval, but it is a Roval. Um, that's going to play to the Nissan strengths. A lot of top end, a lot of a lot of top end running. Um, Spa as well. 
other than Sector 2 Spa, it should suit the Nissan. Um, it's the Nordschleife was the big one. Yeah, the Nordschleife is going to be make or break, I think, for the championship. Um, and and if there's going to be any race, I think that really makes a big impact in the points in the championship. I think you are right. I think it is going to be our finale. I, I don't disagree. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think it should be a, a good run to the end of the championship. I, I'm pretty sure my championship turned around at Le Mans, really. Um, I think Le Mans was the turning point for me in the championship. I needed that dub. Absolutely. And I mean, of course, defending champion on the back of your mind, I'm sure, too, coming from the last major championship last season. So uh, nonetheless, having a great season here so far and I had a great race today. And, uh, you know, like you said, just a little mistake cost you here today. Otherwise, it should have been a pretty solid second place finish here for Team Rad's Petrol Head. And uh, I guess any final remarks you want to add to your race today and any shout outs you'd like to throw to the viewers watching at home? Well, shout out to my teammate Razor for a clean a very, very hilariously clean end to the race uh, through Cassio Triangle. Um, it, it could, any lag spike, and it could have ended so badly. Um, I would like to thank um, Motorsport 101, the guys over there, for sponsoring me. Uh, they are good people, as per usual. Um, check out the podcast. Brilliant podcast. Um... I would like to say congratulations to Mark. He, he, for, he just schooled the entire field today. Like no one could touch him. Yeah, the, the, his his pace was equal to me at uh, the end of Le Mans. Just pace out of nowhere. No one could touch him. Uh, shout out to Doug. Feel better soon. Hopefully, we'll see you back in in two weeks' time at Daytona. Um. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, uh, ending remarks, again, costs nothing to be nice. You don't know what people are going through. Just be nice. Cheers. It's an important message, ladies and gentlemen, and I 110% agree with Petrohead on that. And congratulations on a great uh, podium finish here for you today as well. Second place by a nose clip over teammate Hair Razor here today. Great photo finish ending to round number six. Congratulations, mate. We'll let you get back to that clubhouse and go celebrate with your teammate on those two podium finishes here for Team Rad today. Congratulations, brother. Thank you very much, and thank you for the streaming. Always. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Our podium interview ease. That was a great race today. We had a blast at Suzuka today, did we not? What an incredible race. 13 drivers stacked up here in round number six at Suzuka. And that means we have three rounds of racing left. And well, you heard it. You heard it right there uh, from Petrolhead. We're going to head to Daytona International Road Course next year for our Group 2 series. It'll be in two weekends time. It'll be live right here on GT45 Gaming at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And if you enjoyed what you saw here today, you're not going to want to miss Daytona. Daytona should be a doozy. Uh, it's going to be a lot of slipstream and a lot of bump drafting happening at our Daytona. And I think we're going to see a very, very tight pack of racers. That then leads us into uh, the second last race of the season in a month's time from now at Circuit de Spa. Uh, absolutely beautiful racetrack. Famous 24 hours of spa held there every year. And one of my favorite tracks here in Gran Turismo 7, the flow, the technicality and just the speed of Spa makes it such a great racetrack and I think that that is going to be a great setup for finale weekend in six weeks time and I gotta tell you you guys are gonna want to put this on your calendar because it is very rare that we see this track in league racing we're sending this GR2 series off this season at the Nurburg 24 hour layout we're hitting the Norse life in the Group 2 Series for finale weekend in six weeks' time, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to tell you what. Round number nine, our finale, will ultimately decide this championship. It will be a battle against the track, not against each other in our finale round in the Group 2 Series. Three great tracks left on the schedule. And I hope we see you all there hanging out with us as we get the action underway to crown a champion. 
I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in today on behalf of the Gran Turismo racing community and GT45 Gaming. You're all legends. We appreciate you all the comments, the likes, the shares, the view time, and your personal time to hang out with us today. We'll be back next weekend again, 2.45 p.m. Eastern time when the live stream goes live. Racing starts at 3 p.m. Eastern time, and we will be back with round six of our Audi TT Cup Series. Newcomer Ishmael Truth coming in last week, absolutely dominating with a great performance. Can he repeat that performance next weekend here at the GTRC? We'll have to tune in to find out. Appreciate everybody here as well. We're going to do a quick catch up before we shut down. We haven't had a chance to really take a look at everything here today as this race kept us very, very busy. So let's give a shout out to all you amazing folks at home too as well. We got Michael McKenzie. We got Nolander Gaming coming in with the likes. Nolander with the shares. We've got Ruben coming in with that thumbs up chat. AKA Badass coming in with that thumbs up. We got Madeline coming in with the 99 Star Bomb. Legendary. Appreciate that extra support. Madeline also coming in with the heart on stream. We had GT45 coming in with the share. Nolander, BFAM, and Gaming coming in with the multiple shares. Nolander, BFAM with the care. Derek Nolan with the heart. Paul Blonstrom with the heart. We got Bartos, new viewer there with that thumbs up. And Nick Brewster coming in late with that thumbs up over on the Facebook stream as well. We appreciate everybody that's tuned in today. It has been an absolutely fun day of racing here. And we're just catching up here through all the channels here right now. Making sure the chats are properly updated. We don't like to miss too, too much. Right, we appreciate all that support towards uh, Racer Doug Barrow as well. Just not uh, feeling well here today. So first and foremost, our thoughts and our vibes. And uh, I head out to Doug Barrow from Team Rad here today. Uh, unable to race just due to the feeling and not so great. So we're thinking of him. Hope he feels better soon. Hope we see him on track again soon. Another great administrator here at the GTRC as well. So the community cares and we're definitely thinking of him. Um great job to our racers today uh, top top level driving and you know we see moments sometimes in these races where uh sports etiquette comes into play and we're going to take a huge mention of that right now i want to also give him a special mention to tt's egon uh in an active battle against superboy making contact going into a corner causing that driver to go off track egon in a safe manner returned that position waited for that driver and then re-engaged that battle basically to the end of the race so i just want to give a special mention to 1010 sim racing Egon for the professionalism and going above and beyond on the racetrack during live competition with uh, a show of sportsmanship and extra racing etiquette here today. Uh, Bar 27 also a notable mention with a great drive here. He's been struggling so far this season and he had a really great run here today too as well. Mike 1972 with a feisty run. Another special notable mention as well. Didn't quite get the result he was ideally hoping for. A little bit of an early race mistake there and I think that might have threw him out of his rhythm just a little tiny bit but still a great run and all in all great racing from top to bottom. 13 started, 12 finished, one car finishing in pit lane with mechanical failure it happens to the best of them and we'll see these drivers back on track in two weeks time appreciate y'all remember you all matter reach out if you're struggling somebody is there to listen maybe somebody is there to offer the right place and the right resources for you to get the help you need you just don't know until you ask so please ask this community loves each other we're family here and we just want to see everybody succeed and thrive in life stay winning and we'll catch you all on the next one